U.S. President Barack Obama is sanctioning Russia, blaming Moscow for computer hacks intended to influence the November election. But President-elect Donald Trump says he does not believe Russia did it. How sure are cyber crime investigators when they point the finger at a suspect? As viewers Steve Barragona reports, it's part science and part art. Cyberspace is a 24-hour battleground of bots, viruses, and malware. But in this faceless world, it's hard to know who your attacker is. This is a profile of the fancy bear actors. Dmitry Alperovich is co-founder of the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. The company's software scanned for hackers at the Democratic National Committee this spring. And right away, it lit up like a Christmas tree, basically telling us that um, there are two um, intrusion actors inside the DNC operating independently. CrowdStrike named both intruders as Russian hacker groups with close ties to the Kremlin. Alperovich says reaching that conclusion was a lot like police work. Just like when you arrive at a crime scene, and you find a fingerprint, you want to run through your database to see does it match to any known criminals you may already know about, um, and look at other evidence. Does the MO look like some, some other bank robbery that you've already investigated? CrowdStrike's investigation found a familiar bit of code. That code had turned up in other hacks blamed on these same Russian groups. Once you build a weapon, you don't just want to use it once. Uh, the temptation is too great to keep on using it. And that's what often gives away um, these attacks. The weapon is one clue. How it was used is another. CrowdStrike looked for patterns of activity in previous hacks. And on the internet, nothing ever disappears. So you can go back through history and look at 10 years and thousands of attacks. <laughs> Finding other clues to a hacker's identity can be as simple as checking the clock, says Nick Rossman at the computer security firm FireEye via Skype. When we see uh, in Russian activity, we often see that the malware is compiled in time zones that are similar to Moscow and St. Petersburg. You know, and the same goes for Chinese cyber threat activity. We also look for when a threat actor is actively on a network. They often work from nine to five. But skeptics note that a timestamp is not a smoking gun, and anyone can copy another hacker's code. Unlike DNA at a murder scene, there is rarely indisputable proof of cybercrimes. Rossman acknowledges the evidence is largely circumstantial. We can't say for sure that we could set up a case that would stand under the court of law, but we believe that the wider scope of the evidence uh, can help to make that argument. Rossman agrees with CrowdStrike's conclusion that the Russians hacked the DNC, but in the anonymity of cyberspace, experts say the shadowy world of espionage is murkier still. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Washington.